Today I'm talking all things algae. Hello and welcome back to TMZ Blue Sea with me Victoria. So today's video, as you have just heard, I am talking all things algae. In particular, one specific species of algae that is Nanochloropsis oculata. That I have to say is my absolute favourite algae. It has so many uses and it does wonders for my sea monkey tank. So I'm going to briefly talk to you a little bit about what algae are and Nanochloropsis specifically and then show you how to set up your very own culture of Nanochloropsis which is really quick and simple and is a great thing to do. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you aren't already please hit that thumbs up and subscribe and remember to hit that bell for notifications. Thank you very much for clicking on to watch my video. I do hope you enjoy. Cheers. So what are algae? This is a really, really common question that I get asked a lot and um, I thought it would be helpful to do a quick what are algae introduction before I dive into a video all about algae, in particular Nanochloropsis. So just to help you understand a little bit what I'm talking about. So algae are not plants, even though plants also photosynthesize. Algae, and the singular alga, is a catch-all term for a group of diverse organisms. So you have microalgae, macroalgae, and cyanobacteria, also known as blue-green algae. So macroalgae is things you commonly see, such as seaweed. So this you may be familiar with. So they are your seaweeds. Uh, they are not plants, they are algae. And then you've got your blue-green algae or your cyanos or your cyanobacteria, which are uh, single-celled, but then you've got single-celled but internally complex microalgae, which are things such as Nanochloropsis oculata, which is what we're going to be talking about today. So I hope this introduction has helped. If you've already seen this in my previous videos, I do apologise for repeating myself, but if this is your first video of mine or your first algae video of mine, I hope you have found this helpful and we're going to dive in all about Nanochloropsis. So, Nanochloropsis oculata is a single-celled green algae. So Nanochloropsis is a genus of algae that comprises at least six species, one of those being Nanochloropsis oculata. So it has many, many uses, including nutraceuticals, biofuel and as aquarium feed. So I use it to feed all of my sea monkey tanks and it does really well for them. So if you've got sea monkeys and want some alternative food for them, I highly recommend culturing Nanochloropsis. And I will link a video up here I've done on alternative sea monkey foods. Or that side, I don't know which side it is. But yeah, Nanochloropsis is absolutely great. It is bright green. Um, it is really cool. It's my favourite algae. I'm going to stop saying that because I seem like a weirdo. Anyway, let's get on to culturing Nanochloropsis. So I'm back and today I'm going to be setting up a Nanochloropsis oculata culture, which is my favourite algae. And I know I'm really weird for saying I have a favourite algae. Um, but it's great. I feed it to all of my tanks. They love it. It's great for the health of my tanks. Do you have a favourite algae or am I just weird? Please let me know down in the comments below if you too have a favourite algae. So I'm not the only one saying I have a favourite algae, please. Please. So anyway, here's everything I think I will need. I've got obviously, of course, a cup of tea, lovely penguin mug from Whipsnade Zoo. I have a clean culture flask, which I've already labelled with nano, just because I couldn't be bothered to type out nanochloropsis and it would get really, really long. I have the growth nutrient and the syringe. I have the pipette for getting out the culture. And I have the nanochloropsis. And I have the culture medium, which I made up in a previous video, which I will pop a link up here. Just so you can find out how to do that. But it's really simple. It's reef salt and RO water made to seawater salinity, which is 35 parts per thousand. So... Um, Nanochloropsis can grow sort of from 5 to 35 parts per thousand, so from brackish to salt water. I find it works really well in salt water. That's my preference, so that's what I'm going to do um, because all of my tanks are salt water that I use this for. I think it's perfect just to maintain the salinity of it. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to take our clean culture flask, unscrew the lid, take our first culture vial. I do love that sound and take the syringe it's not a syringe it's a pipette clearly need to drink more tea and we're just going to pop that 
in there. Suck all of that up. If I was doing it the right way around. Pop. Just gonna make sure we get all of this out. There we go. So I'm just gonna add a little bit just to clean my pipette off. And we have the growth nutrient, which I'm gonna add one mil of, which is exactly like adding fertilizer in your garden. straight in there and then we're going to add the culture medium which as I've said is salt water so as with all algae as it grows it will in darken in colour so it always starts off quite pale and it will go to a really nice rich green colour so that is the Nanochloropsis oculata culture already i'll provide you updates of course as it grows and we'll have a look under the microscope as well and see what it looks like so here is what nanochloropsis oculata looks like under the microscope that was my video all about nanochloropsis oculata if you've enjoyed this and learned something make sure to leave a thumbs up for me if you haven't already subscribed, please do consider subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate all of your support. If you are already subscribed, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. So before I go, I've got an algae fact and an ocean fact for you. So my algae fact is there are some types of algae that can bioluminesce. So this is sort of a natural phenomenon. Phenomenon, phenomenon, uh, a natural phenomenon. I cannot say that word. Phenomenon. 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 <laughs> anyway, so it glows a beautiful bright blue colour. So I actually have some bioluminescent algae and I did a video on that. So if you want to see that, make sure you click the link up here to watch that video. It is my Halloween special and I'm also dressed up as a mermaid because why not? It was Halloween. Uh, so if you want to see more content about algae and bioluminescence and me dresses of a mermaid, let me know down below. I would be happy to do that for you. Uh, it's not just about me making content, it's about what you want to see. And the ocean fact is... Da, da, da. Some fish can actually get sunburn. Although they produce things in their skin to help, them, to help prevent their sunburn, some fish such as koi are particularly susceptible to sunburn and can get damaged from the UV, from the sun. So there you know, learn something new every day. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Victoria with Tea and Deep Blue Sea and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye bye for now. Blah, 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 blah.